In this video, I'm going to demonstrate in Audacity how to make basic edits and then export out your audio file. This is not meant to be a video to create or design or make audio engineering type decisions. The goal here is for you to be able to make basic edits and then upload it to something like Spotify's Anchor for podcast episodes. So the first thing that I've already done here, as I talk about in the Google slide that's linked in the information here on YouTube is as long as you have a microphone set to your computer, you can actually just hit the record button and record live as far as the audio goes. Once you're done recording, you can hit the stop button and you now have an Audacity audio file. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with working with audio, what you have down here is what is called the audio track. Each of these little areas here demonstrates as far as your voice or your voice tone, things like that. Now, what I did here though, is when I created this audio track, I have the recording starting, but right here in the middle, I made a mistake. And I'm saying to myself, well, I need to get rid of that. A lot of people think with audio in even video that, oh, I have to go back and I have to completely redo it all over again. As you get more comfortable working with and creating this type of content, one thing that you will learn is to keep your cool. So you made a mistake. Take a pause, don't stop the recording, and just start speaking again. As long as you have space, which is denoted here, you can see that with this blue line, I actually am not speaking at that point. I'm able to go in and edit around it. So I could remove this little chunk here and still salvage the rest of the audio file. This does take practice and time. I know it can be frustrating, but the more you do it, the more as far as your speech goes, you'll get more comfortable being able to put that hard pause in, take a second, and then start speaking again. So let's talk about this a little bit. The main tool that I wanna show you is right up here. It looks like an eye. It's actually called the selection tool. To remove a section here, you just click and hold and begin to drag out. And as you can see, I'm getting this lighter color here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna try to get eh, about right there looks pretty good. I don't wanna have the audio where this ending of the speech of the previous sentence and the start of the new sentence are right on top of each other. I still wanna have that little bit of a gap there. So what I'm gonna do is I've highlighted and I'm just gonna use delete. Actually, I have a little bit more space in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do another delete. There we go. You can also come in here. You can see at the start and end, I often, whenever I do recordings, I actually give myself a second or two at the start and the end. In case number one, I need to do some edits, or number two, I just need that extra space there. I can actually tighten this up, come in and hit the delete key, come in, hit the delete key, and there we go. Really basic audio editing. So now I'm ready to go ahead and export this audio file. To do that in Audacity, you just come up to File on the main menu bar, and there's an export option. Honestly, for most audio pieces, if you're working with you know, a video for YouTube, or if you're wanting to work with Anchor uh, from Spotify for podcasting, the MP3 file is going to be fine. So I'm going to choose export as an MP3. I'll choose my desktop and I will call this example audacity export. For the scope of what you're working with and starting out with the basics for the format options, don't even worry about that. Just leave it at the default and go ahead and say save. Audacity gives you the capabilities. This is just some metadata that will get embedded in the file. It is completely up to you if you want to fill this out as far as your name, what is the track title, things like that. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to say OK. And now here you can see my Audacity file. So now I could right click on this under open with, I can open it in some of my other media players on my computer. So for instance, I have iTunes. Uh, a lot of the computers at our institution have VLC media player. Also, I could open it with Windows media player. 
one of the things to point out though is if you want to use this in an LMS such as Blackboard, you upload a file like this and a student downloads it, they're going to need some form of audio playback software. So if a student's going to use their computer, they will need to have some sort of software. So of telling them to download VLC, which is another open source software piece, could work. However, you may want to be have it embedded in your LMS such as Blackboard.